Hey guys, it's Matt. Now, a lot of you may recall when I started this channel, I called it a blog channel. However, ever since I started it, I haven't really vlogged. All I've really done is ranted about shit, showed stupid pranks, and stupid people doing stupid things, sprinkled along with random other things that happen to happen. If you call that a vlog, so be it. But the thing with most vlogs is, especially daily vlogs, is unless you are a very, very captivating personality, th interesting things don't happen every day of your entire life. But for those of you who don't already know, I'm still on course to break, re, re grasp the title, the record that was taken for me that I originally broke in 2008 and am trying to claim back now and it's coming along great um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about well then you're just in for a huge fucking surprise once this drops it's it's gonna blow your mind but as it stands right now I need more footage for that giant surprise and I kind of like the idea of vlogging because you never know when something absolutely crazy is going to happen. So as such, I decided I am now going to take this camera everywhere with me, set it to low quality mode, which really isn't that low quality actually. So that way I can, but nonetheless, it's it's just a lower bit rate, so that way I can store more footage on the camera. Oddly enough, low quality is still considered 1080p. Go figure, that's res for you. But, yeah, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be bringing my camera with me everywhere and just talking to it every single day, and that's going to be part of the giant, I can't even call it a surprise anymore. Like, if you, you're probably going to look it up on one of my channels, or you'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah, because what really motivated me to do this was because of certain things that happened, like today and yesterday and events that just constant interesting things that constantly happened to me and it's like darn it I wish I had my camera like yesterday at my job there was a lady chasing a squirrel well for that I actually did have my camera if you really want to see that video it's on my Google Plus account link in the description anyways I don't know where I was going with this have you ever wondered why every single daily vlog you see ever always does this exact same kind of camera angle well, in an effort to conform, I'm going to do it too, and walk to random places, because apparently, I have such a busy day that I have to walk and film at the same time. Hooray multitasking! No, that's not actually what I feel. This is just me trolling other vlog videos, maybe. But any... The screen was still there. That would have been a fail and a half. So anyway, um... I was at work today. Yes, all vlogs I ever watch happen to do this. And it annoys the piss out of me. So I'm not going to do it. Anyway, basically what happened was I went to work today. And I work at this pool. It's at a senior citizen community center place. So what I ended up doing was I went there. I got there and everything was funky dory. Funky Dory. Oh, that's a new one. So, I go, and the lady comes, who voluntarily manages the pool. I don't know how that's a volunteer position, but apparently you can just volunteer. It's like, I run everything. Why? I volunteer to run everything. Okay, go for it. Um, so that happened, and... Then she goes and she starts bitching me out. She's like, oh, were you the guard that cleaned up here last night? I was like, yeah. Oh, um, you see that table over there? You know how we like four chairs at every table? You left five over there. Well, there was an extra chair. You left five chairs on a table! So yeah, then she called my boss and started saying all these terrible things about I, I didn't do, how I'm neglecting responsibility, and I left the place a terrible mess, when in reality, I just left an extra tear at a table. Go figure. So, yeah. I am now being relocated to another pool. A.K.A. The Pussy Lady Pool. Oh, wait. I didn't up 
blow that video yet here. Ugh, awkward. Um, if you want to know what the pussy lady pool is, um, wait for the next video. Um, so yeah, there was that. And then my day just got stranger and stranger from there on out. While I was guarding, some lady went up to me and she's like, Did you know there are three registered pedophiles that live in this complex? They live in the pool. No, they live in the neighborhood. Well, she needs to get her grammar. She needs to get her vocabulary straight. Pedophiles at the pool. I'm not even joking. Right after she says that, the very next lady that comes up to me um, says, So, were there many children at the pool today? And I was like, eh, a couple, I guess. And she's like, oh, there's usually about 12 or so. Sometimes I just love to come down and watch the children. I was like, what the fuck? So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was one of the three pedophiles that went there. So that was crazy. Then, later in the day, some English person comes up to me and says, Hello, um, this isn't a nude pool by chance, is it? I was like... No. She was like, bugger. I'm pretty sure that's like a swear in Britain land. And I'm really glad it isn't a nude pool because that's a 65 and older community. <laughs> Nightmares for the rest of my life. So yeah, that's basically what a blog would, or a vlog rather, would be like if I ever do one on this channel. Now, like I said, I'm going to be bringing my camera everywhere with me. So if something happens, like most of it is just going to be going into the giant surprise project. But if anything out of the ordinary happens or anything that I feel is worthy of its own video, I'll either comment on it and put the video up with it or so something along those lines. So more vloggish type videos may be coming soon, but only if interesting things happen. Because the one thing I can't stand is when a vlogger posts something and nothing interesting happens at all. It's just, I took my dog to get a haircut, and now he's cute and cuddly. End of video.